In this video, I'm going to talk about and explain glycolysis. Before we start, I want to make sure we're clear on the hydrolysis of ATP, adenosine triphosphate. So, ATP plus H2O will give you ADP, adenosine diphosphate. This basically means a phosphate group has been removed. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to show all phosphate groups as P's in circles. In your exam, you would no way be doing this, but I'm just going to do this for educational purposes. So, step one. Glucose is turned into glucose 6 phosphate, or glucose 6P for short. So, what happens is ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP, and as I said earlier, you get a phosphate group. Well, this is done as attached to the number 6 carbon atom of glucose. Now, glucose 6 phosphate is changed to fructose 6 phosphate. As you can see from the diagram here, the only real thing that's changed is the structure. The formula is still the same, C6H12O6, and the phosphate group, which obviously I've done as a P, but remember, do not do this in the real exam. So, now, another hydrolysis reaction of ATP occurs, and once again you go from ATP to ADP, this gives another phosphate group. This phosphate group now attaches to another part of the carbon ring. This time, it attaches to carbon 1. This is known as hexose 1,6 biphosphate. This is essentially fructose 1,6 biphosphate, but for the exam, it's known as hexose 1,6 biphosphate. So, step two. Now, each molecule of hexose biphosphate is then split into two molecules of triose phosphate. Okay, so the names of these two molecules we don't actually need to know. I'll tell you anyway, we've got glycosaldehyde 3-phosphate and dihydroxacetone phosphate. These molecules don't have the same structure, but they do have the same formula. As you know, hexose or C6H12O6. So obviously you've got half of that of two, you've even got to have C3H6O3. Now, step three. Now, two hydrogen atoms, each with their electrons, are removed from each triose phosphate molecule. So, the formula of this intermediate compound is going to change. It's still has three carbons, but it's got two less hydrogens overall. So technically, that means there's four less hydrogens from the original molecule. Now, a coenzyme called NAD, nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, combines with two hydrogen atoms. So each NAD combines with two hydrogen atoms. And what this does, this gives you reduced NAD. Here, two ATP molecules also produce. This is during substrate level phosphorylation. Stage 3 may have been a bit tricky for you, so I'm just going to run over it quickly again. So, each triose phosphate molecule, each lose two hydrogen atoms. Each two of these hydrogen atoms then join with a NAD group, making this reduced NAD. Two ATP molecules are also formed. So overall, two reduced NAD molecules are formed, and two ATP molecules are formed. Now, stage 4. In stage 4, enzyme catalyzed reactions convert each triose phosphate molecule into a molecule of pyruvate. What happens is, the phosphate groups that are on the intermediates then join the ADP molecules. So now we've gone from adenosine diphosphate back to adenosine triphosphate by losing the phosphates from the intermediates. This creates a final product, pyruvate. I'm going to finally go over the whole process one more time, the way the book does it, just so we're on the same terms. So the hydrolysis of an ATP molecule allows glucose to turn into glucose 6-phosphate. The phosphate group from the ATP has now joined the glucose. Next, glucose is changed from glucose 6P to fructose 6P. Now, due to the hydrolysis of ATP, another phosphate is released. This joins the fructose 6-phosphate to become fructose 1,6-biphosphate also known as hexose 1,6 biphosphate. The hexose biphosphate molecule is then split into two triose phosphate molecules. So from here, the triose phosphate molecules lose two hydrogen atoms each. These join a NAD molecule to form two reduced NAD molecules. ATP is also produced here by substrate level phosphorylation. The phosphate groups leave the intermediate and join ADP to form ATP. We now have two molecules of ADP again, our final product, two molecules of pyruvate. 